guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the very best tote bags. So I recently did a video all about the best crossbody bags and that seemed to go over very well. So I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it. But I love tote bags and I know a lot of people love them too. So I decided to do a video. I have four different ones that I am gonna show. Um, and then I also wanna include two different tote bags that I actually don't own, but I think they're fantastic. So I'll obviously insert pictures of those along with the price points and all of the details and everything. So hopefully if you guys are interested in buying a tote bag, this video is helpful to you. So like always, if you happen to be new here, maybe you're visiting, my name is Shay, and I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting that red button down below. I do put out two or three videos every single week and I would love to have you back. If this video is helpful to you guys, please give it a big thumbs up. Okay, so the first bag or tote that I'm going to talk to you guys about is the Tory Birch Ella Tote. And this retails for $195 and the measurements are 13 inches high, 17 inches across, and then about five or six inches wide. And I got this about five years ago and I wore it to death for the first probably year or so. And now it's kind of more sporadic, but when I first got this, I wore it like crazy and I love it. It's a very, very classic style for Tory Burch. If you go on their website, you know, they still sell like hotcakes. It's five star reviews. People love this. It is made of nylon and then patent leather for the logo. And I really, I really do just like the design of it. It's kind of like, you know, it does have the logo on it, but it's yet, it's kind of like understated at the same time. And I really like how it can be very casual, but then I feel like when you are, you know, more dressed up or for like a business, like, I don't know, like you're dressed up for work or whatever, this looks so good like that as well. So, you know, it definitely kind of screams a more dressier vibe for a tote. The interior is very roomy. There's just a magnetic snap closure here and then the sides actually snap too. So you can actually make this very, very large if you unsnap the sides. And then the inside is extremely roomy. And then there is two little pouches over here to put like slide your phone in or something. And then an actual, you know, zip compartment right there. But this holds so much, like so, so, so much. And then, you know, you can also make it a little bit smaller by clasping the sides right here. These top handle handles, um, they're, you know, patent leather. They feel very, very solid and everything. So the only complaint or con I would say about this particular bag is kind of like the drop length of these top handles. It's, it's not terrible, especially in the summer. Like, you know, when you're not wearing a coat, I feel like it's really easy to slide this on and it's perfect. Um, but if you're wearing like a heavier coat, like in the winter or even in the fall, sometimes depending on what you're wearing, it is a little bit hard to get your arm through here and it's just a little bit tight. So sometimes I kind of wish the drop length was a little bit longer, but I really don't think about it that much unless I'm wearing a heavy coat. This usually comes in black. It's always in black. I think I've seen it in navy a lot as well. And then throughout each season, they usually do release it in other styles and prints and colors and everything. But I would say the black is obviously the most classic and that's what they're always selling and then sometimes the navy and then of course you know as summer winter fall spring all comes along they usually have different variations but this is what I love the very most it just it just seems very very versatile the next tote that I'm going to talk about is my Louis Vuitton delightful MM and I actually got this around the exact time I got the Tory Burch Ella tote um, my husband surprised me with this this is my very 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 first Louis Vuitton piece um, he surprised me with it I've talked about it before um, but if anyone's new you know this is is pretty much what introduced me into the Louis Vuitton brand. I was so excited when I got this. I got this as soon as my son was born and it was fantastic. It's in the monogram print. And like I said, it's the MM size, which now retails for 1,390. So this also comes in a smaller size, which is the PM version. And that retails for $1,250 or 1,250. And then the GM, which is the largest size, it's, you know, it is a lot bigger than this. And I already think this is a decent size, but that retails $1,580. But I would say for this particular tote, the MM size is the very most popular. It does come in the three classic canvases, which is the monogram or the Demier Aben or the Demier Azure. And then also you can, you know, get different linings. Mine is the, the classic beige lining, 
but sometimes if you check the website, they do have different interiors. Like sometimes there's the rose ballerine, there's like a magenta color. It kind of it kind of varies, and I know they release things depending on the season as well. So this is just the canvas, and then up here for the handle and the trimmings and everything, it is the Vachetta leather. So um, mine definitely has patinaed over the years. It still looks really, you know, really good, I think. And then um, it's, you know, it has softened a lot. So there is just one strap at the top versus two because most totes do have two handles. And what I really, really loved about this bag at the time when I first got it was the fact that it only had one strap. So it's a very wide strap, so it's very, very comfortable on your shoulder. It kind of disperses the weight very well. But then also, since there's only one strap, it's, there's never one flipping down because a lot of times when, when it comes to totes, I feel like depending on how they're made, it's very often that the one strap kind of like falls down. It's so annoying to me. I know a lot of people probably don't get bothered by that, but for some reason it really has always bothered me. So that's kind of what really, really made me love this bag. So the measurements of this bag is 13 inches high and then 16 and a half inches lengthwise and then six inches this way. And as you can see, a long time ago, I spilled water in my bag and it definitely darkened it right here. So oh, it's kind of annoying, but I really can't, I, I don't know, I guess I don't notice it that much, but it's definitely kind of a downfall for the Vachetta. Now, as far as opening and closing it, it does have a clasp closure right here. So you just unclasp it. It's not a zipper. And then inside, it's just one zipper compartment. And right now I just kind of have like a blanket in there. It's just an old blanket and I use it to kind of like stuff it and store it in my closet when I'm not using it. But yeah, the inside is very, very large, very, very roomy. Um, yeah, it's definitely a really good size tote. So a con to this bag, I would say, is it's very, very like loose, like not structured bag at all. So I feel like sometimes when I put things in the bag, depending on what's in it, it can kind of be like a little bit lopsided. Most of the time I don't really notice it. However, I don't know, like if I have something really like extra heavy since it's very not structured, I can kind of see that at the bottom it's kind of like more hanging on this side and it's a little bit, you know, loose over here. So that's the only con to this bag, but what I really love about it and what I think is a pro is it doesn't scream tote to me. I feel like a lot of totes look very, very like tote-like. I don't know how to explain what I'm saying, but, but this just, you know, it's a tote because it's like a big bag and it holds so much, but yet it's just one handle. And to me, it looks a lot more like just a regular bag, more like a purse kind of, not necessarily a tote, but yet it is a tote. So that is one thing that I definitely love about this bag. So the next tote that I am going to show you guys and talk about is the Madewell Transport Tote. And this is actually brand new to me. I literally just got this like a week ago. Um, I've been wanting this bag for so long. Um, I even still have the paper in it because I've been saving it to talk about in this video. This is, like I said, it's from Madewell. It is their very, very well-known tote. They're just very well known for this bag. And I've been looking for a new work bag. Mine is just, it's just awful, the, the work bag that I use. And I love this, it's $168, but it's real leather, it's like natural leather, it's been tanned. Um, so I know within time it will get a little bit not worn, but you can kind of, you know, see it. But I don't think it's going to patina like the classic Louis Vuitton Vachetta does. Um, it, but it, but it's already kind of tanned and treated and everything, so it's not going to get, like, tons of watermarks on it or anything. However, this is just a very, very, like, simple tote, but I love it. The measurements are 14 inches high and then 14 inches across as well, and then it is 6 inches wide. So it's a really good size. I've seen this tote in that store for probably, a solid like three or four years and every time I walk into that store I want to buy it so I finally just decided to buy it. It does come in this you know beautiful tanned leather but then it also comes in black and in the black version it's all black but the handles are still the tanned brown so I really like that as well but for some reason I've always, my, my eyes have just always gone to this color and I think it's beautiful. You know, I'll link everything down below, but if you read the reviews, it's just crazy how many people love this and just use it like nonstop every single day. And I guess just reading all of that about how, you know, people just really, really love like how well made it is and how comfortable it is because it really does just feel so good on the shoulder. So the inside is pretty simple as always when it comes to totes. And there is just one zip compartment, and here I still do have the tags on it. 
But yeah, it's a pretty, you know, simple tote as expected. The con would be that it definitely is pretty darn casual. I mean, some of the other bags and totes that I'm showing, you you know, you can't necessarily wear them to a wedding or like out and out for like a night on the town. However, they, you, you can, you know, dress them up a little bit. Whereas this one, it is so casual in my opinion. So that is, you know, kind of a con, but if you're more of a casual person, that's fine. And then for the, for the daily use that I want this particular tote for, I think it's perfect. It, it doesn't really bother me that it's super casual, but for some people that might be a little bit bothersome. But again, the pros, it's so incredibly comfortable. Comfortable. I think it's a really, really easy tote to have. And then I think that the price point is just absolutely fantastic for a real leather bag. It's $168. So I think that's definitely something to consider. So the last tote that I'm going to talk about is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. It's like a very, very classic tote. It's like probably the most popular tote in all of the world. So of course I'm going to include it. And then after this, I have two other totes that I'm going to talk about that I don't have, but I will be inserting pictures. So about this Louis Vuitton bag or tote, um, the price is, since I have the GM size, which is the very largest size, it is $1,340. It also comes in the MM size, which is the medium size size and that's 1260 and there's also the PM size which is the very smallest and it is pretty darn small and that's $1,180. So like I said I have the largest size. I personally love the largest size but a lot of people really really like the MM size as well. So those those two are pretty like neck and neck as far as popularity is concerned. Whoo that's like heavy oh my goodness. I have a lot of stuff packed in here so that's why it's not usually that heavy but I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, so as far as the measurements and everything it is 13 inches high and then 15.7 inches lengthwise so it's definitely the longest lengthwise that I own and then 7.9 inches width wise um, it's definitely by far my biggest tote however you can definitely cinch the sides and you just, you know, do that. I've, sh I've shown this before. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I feel like I repeat myself like 15 million times, but there are new people, you know, you occasionally watching my videos. So, but anyway, you can just cinch the sides on both sides and then it, uh, you know, it makes the bag so much smaller and much more, you know, of like an everyday bag. And that's why I love the GM size. It's just the most versatile to me. I can wear this you know, for a diaper bag, I can w make this a travel tote, I can make this an everyday tote when I cinch the sides. I can I can do so much with this bag and it's probably why this one definitely, out of all four that I own, this is by far my favorite one. It does come in the three different, you know, classic Louis Vuitton prints and canvases and everything. I would say for the Demier Aben print, which is what I have, it's very, very, very carefree. You know, you don't have to worry about the rain or anything like that. However, the um, strap handles and everything, they are, they're treated leather. So they're a little bit stiffer and a little bit more hard. So I, I have read like on purse forums and everything and some reviews, people do say that this can dig into your shoulders. And I guess that really hasn't bothered me. I haven't really thought about that. So for me, I don't really think it's, it, I don't know, I guess I don't think about it, so it's fine. However, people do say that when you get this in the monogram print or the Azure print, the um, Vachetta leather handles are so much softer and so much more comfortable, but I don't have that, so I guess I can't really you know, compare the two. But if your shoulders kind of get tired and you think that, you know, this might dig into your shoulders too much, if you like pack your bag too full, then maybe the monogram or the Azure print would be better for you just because of the comfort level that comes with the Fachetta handles. So again, this does have a clasp closure, just like my Delightful. And then inside it has one zipped compartment right here. So that's really nice. And then I do have an organizer in my bag because I use it for kids all the time and I pack it kind of like a diaper bag or like a kid bag and I use it like crazy. I love, love, love the organizers for this particular bag. What's really great about this particular Louis Vuitton bag is it does come with a zippered pouch now. It's kind of like a pochette only. It's very, very thin and I actually did sell mine, but a lot of people really, really like it. People can put money in there, receipts, 
um, throw some things in there. I don't know. It was a little bit too thin for me, so that's why I did sell mine, and I actually use a, a pochette accessoire a little bit more when, I don't know, that just seemed to, to work better for me. But I do think it's a really great idea that Louis Vuitton did include that because a lot of people really love it. So that is another pro to this bag. I'm sorry I don't have it to show you, but if you get it brand new, that does come with it. I think this has held up so amazing. You know, I don't carry it to work every day. I think a lot of people think that I carry this bag to work every single day and I actually don't um, which is why I did get that made well tote because I'm gonna make that my work bag but I still carry this on the weekends and even in the evenings when we're going places you know my kids are involved in things after after I get home from work so I am carrying this like crazy and it has held up amazing so I definitely think that is a huge huge pro now as far as cons, I wouldn't say there's that many cons at all. I mean the price point definitely is pretty high, but it is like that for my Louis Vuitton Delightful and the two other bags that I'm about to mention, so I feel like that's not a great con. But overall this is kind of like a very classic Louis Vuitton bag. So many people love it and I really think you can't go wrong when it comes to this. Okay, so the last two bags that I have to talk to you about, I don't own them unfortunately. I wish I did own them. Maybe I will in the future, maybe just one of them. I don't know, I don't know. The first one is the Givenchy Tote and it's the Antigona, Antigona, I don't know. It's the Antigona Shopper Tote and it does retail for $999 and I'll link it down below because it usually retails for $1,995. So it's like $1,000 off which is crazy. So if you guys are interested in this bag, seriously, you should snatch it up really fast because it's probably, I mean, it has been out for about a year or so, maybe longer, I'm not really sure, but a lot of people really, really like this tote. I have held it in person when I was in New York City and I can tell it is made very, very well. Um, it just feels expensive. So um, I do think, you know, it's interesting that they have dropped the price. It does probably mean in the near future, they will be transitioning to maybe a different style or a different, different version, I'm not really sure. The measurements are 13 inches high and then 16 inches lengthwise and then width is actually eight inches. So it is a pretty like wide bag at the bottom. And then it is made of black fabric. It has the Givenchy, um, you know, logo I guess, not logo, but it does say Givenchy on the very front of it. Some people might not like that. Some people might really like it. It really doesn't bother me. I kind of do like that actually. I just think, I don't know, it just kind of looks a little bit chic and a little bit stylish that way. It does have palladium hardware on it and then it is lined in leather and the top handle is beautiful. It is so solid. It's like this, you know, stitched and um, rolled leather handle at the top and when I, you know, felt it in person, it just felt really, really nice. It does have a zip pouch inside and then obviously, you know, the majority of the bag is pretty open since it is a tote. It does have the like envelope little flap at the top of the bag, which is very, very classic to Givenchy. And then the closure is also a hook closure. I do think this bag is a very, very structured tote, like it's a little bit hard, not too hard, but I kind of like that personally because when you throw things in there, it does kind of like keep its structure and its shape very, very well. Um, so it's not like a really flappy, loose tote, which I do like that sometimes, but I do think when it comes to Givenchy, they're very known for their structure and you know the hard lines and everything. And I definitely think that bag or this particular bag kind of reflects that. So again, I will link that bag down below. If you are interested, I think it's beautiful. I don't really know exactly the pros and the cons of the bag since I don't own it. However, I think if you are in the market for a really good like designer tote bag, definitely consider that one. Okay, so we're saving one of the best for last and I don't even have it, unfortunately. However, this is an amazing tote. I really, really, really like it and I'm sure a lot of you do as well and you probably already guessed it. It is the Chanel Deauville Tote. Now, as far as pricing, oh my gosh, that is just so difficult. There's like so many sizes to this bag and pricing is, for me, when it comes to Chanel, I don't wanna completely lead you astray because it's just hard to know exactly what the prices are at all times because they change so frequently and it's not like you can just go onto their website and look at all the prices. So I tried to find them out as best I can. Hopefully they're correct. Um, there's the mini Deauville and that is that retails for $2,000. There's the small and it retails for $2,300. There's the medium size and that's $2,800. And then finally there's the large and that is $2,900. So again, 
I'm sorry if that's not completely right. I mean, I think it's right. As the, I, I looked it up, I called my essay and everything, so I'm pretty sure that's right. I, as far as like the sizing and everything, I don't really know exactly what's the very most popular. I've seen a lot of people carry the, like a lot of different sizes and everything, but it does come in tons of colors. Like I've seen, I've just seen a lot of colors. I love the gray. I love a black. There's one with denim and calf skin. Sometimes there's just the regular um, canvas, but then there's sequins on it. So there's a lot of different options. And obviously it kind of changes with the seasons and their releases and everything. And then when you go into the store, you kind of never know what to expect or what they have on hand. So the biggest pro about this bag which I absolutely love, is the fact that it has two different strap options. So it comes with a top handle on the bag, obviously, and that's great for putting on the crook of your arm here, but then you can also put it on your shoulder, but it's just a lot shorter of a drop. But then also, there is a chain detail, like the classic Chanel um, chain, which has the metal and the leather entwined, and it kind of hangs down over the bag, and it's a lot longer, so it's really easy to put that and carry that over your shoulder. So I love it. I think it gives a great accent to the bag. It screams Chanel. It's just, I don't know. I just really, really like that about the bag. So the two cons about the tote would be that depending on what color you get, like if you would get a lighter color, I do think the canvas or like the fabric part of the bag would or could show some dirt. Now I don't own the bag so maybe it's very resistant to dirt. I'm not really sure but that's just sometimes when I see it in a really really light color I worry or wonder if maybe sometimes it would show too much dirt. And then the other con would be the price point is very very high. Um, almost $3,000 for a tote which again it is Chanel so that's obviously expected but I did just want to mention it that you know it is a tote and it is going to be pretty darn pricey because it's Chanel. But nonetheless I absolutely love it and every time I see it on YouTube like being unboxed I'm like ah, I just love that so much. I love you know I love how it does say like Chanel on it you know I don't necessarily want every single tote that I own to scream the designer but for some reason the, the way they did it on that particular bag I think it's just done very very, very well. Okay, so those are the best totes, in my opinion, that you guys can get. I'm sure there's others. I'm sure as you're watching this, you're thinking of some other totes that are fantastic. So I would love to know what you guys think are the very best. Just go ahead and comment those down below so that others can get some ideas as well. And I, I love to see what you guys have, like your opinions and everything. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If I had to narrow it down to my absolute favorite out of the four that I own, I definitely would say, surprise, surprise, my Neverfull. I love this bag so much but I do also love my others as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly truly do appreciate it and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye!